We need to discuss the most ridiculous thing that aired on television today. I am, of course, talking about the latest episode of Riverdale. Here's what happened. Jughead can now read people's thoughts. <laughs> because he's gone deaf, he can no longer really write. He has writer's block. He meets someone who went deaf as an adult, shows him a graphic novel that he wrote. And that inspires Jughead to write his own graphic novel because he can see the action that he's writing as opposed to hearing the words that he's going to write. I don't understand. That was something they mentioned in the episode. It was weird. The point is that he can read people's minds now. Archie, who's invulnerable now, found out that his kryptonite is palladium. Cheryl's soul is trapped in another dimension or like in a mirror because her ancestor Abigail is currently possessing her body. Also, when Cheryl's grandmother says something bad about Tony, Abigail, who's in love with Tony, locked up Cheryl's grandmother in a room full of hay, I think. We found out the identity of TBK, aka the trash bag killer, who's just the current serial killer in Riverdale right now. He kidnapped Betty's former FBI partner, started sending her his body parts in the mail. Anyway, at one point while Archie's holding Palladium, he knocks Archie out and ties him up. But Bingo, the dog who can heal really fast, that's his superpower. He ran into the room and knocked TBK out the attic window. Betty is tired of TBK wreaking havoc on all of her friends and family, so she decides to leave Riverdale for a while so that she can lure TBK out of town. Hermione, Veronica's mom, comes into town along with her reality TV show crew. She's a real housewife or whatever the Riverdale version of that is. Veronica decides to tell a couple of people that she ordered a hit on her father. Another hitman tries to kill Veronica, but then her grandmother's godson, Heraldo, shoots him first. Veronica suspects that her own sister hired that hitman. And then Heraldo hands her a recording from her dad that I think was on his person. Just in case he ever died, it's a goodbye message to Veronica. And it appears that Hira might actually be dead because they did a little clip montage. I don't know. I didn't see a body, though, and you know that's TV 101. 